After some days, my son Methuselah took a wife for his son Lamech, and she became pregnant by him and bore a son. And his body was white as snow and red as the blooming of a rose. And the hair of his head and his long locks were white as wool and his eyes beautiful. And when he opened his eyes, he lighted up the whole house like the sun, and the whole house was very bright. And thereupon he arose in the hands of the midwife, opened his mouth, and conversed with the Lord of righteousness. And his father Lamech was afraid of him, and fled, and came to his father Methuselah. And he said unto him, I have begotten a strange son diverse from an unlike man, and resembling the sons of the God of heaven, and his nature is different, and he is not like us. And his eyes are as the rays of the sun, and his countenance is glorious. And it seems to me that he is not sprung from me, but from the angels. And I fear that in his days a wonder may be wrought on the earth. And now, my father, I am here to petition thee and implore thee that thou mayst go to Enoch, our father, and learn from him the truth, for his dwelling place is amongst the angels. And when Methuselah heard the words of his son, he came to me to the ends of the earth. For he had heard that I was there, and he cried aloud, and I heard his voice, and I came to him, and I said unto him, Behold, here I am, my son, wherefore hast thou come to me? And he answered and said, Because of a great cause of anxiety have I come to thee, and because of a disturbing vision have I approached. And now, my father, hear me, unto Lamech, my son, there hath been born a son, the like of whom there is none, and his nature is not like man's nature. And the color of his body is whiter than snow, and redder than the bloom of a rose. And the hair of his head is whiter than wool, and his eyes are like the rays of the sun. And he opened his eyes, and thereupon lighted up the whole house. And he arose in the hands of the midwife, and opened his mouth, and blessed the Lord of heaven. And his father Lamech became afraid and fled to me, and did not believe that he was sprung from him, but that he was in the likeness of the angels of heaven. And behold, I have come to thee, that thou mayst make known to me the truth. And I, Enoch, answered and said unto him, The Lord will do a new thing on earth. And this I have already seen in a vision. And make known to thee that in the generation of my father Jared, some of the angels of heaven transgress the word of the Lord. And behold, they commit sin and transgress the law, and have united themselves with women, and commit sin with them, and have married some of them, and have begot children by them. And they shall produce on the earth giants, not according to the spirit, but according to the flesh." And there shall be a great punishment on the earth, and the earth shall be cleansed from all impurity. Yea, there shall come a great destruction over the whole earth, and there shall be a deluge, and a great destruction for one year. And this son who has been born unto you shall be left on the earth, and his three children shall be saved with him. When all mankind that are on the earth shall die, he and his sons shall be saved. And now make known to thy son Lamech that he who has been born is in truth his son, and call his name Noah, for he shall be left to you. And he and his sons shall be saved from the destruction which shall come upon the earth on account of all the sin and all the unrighteousness which shall be consummated on the earth in his days. And after that there shall still be more unrighteousness than that which was first consummated on the earth. For I know the mysteries of the holy ones. For he, the Lord, has shown me and informed me, and I have read them in the heavenly tablets. 